In this video, we'll be learning to decode a message using the bifid cipher. Here's a typical problem. Decode the message GHPKFNIG using the bifid cipher with the keyword eagles. Here's how this will work. The first step will be to make what's called the Polybia square. The Polybia square is a 5 by 5 grid. It's got 5 rows running horizontally and 5 columns running vertically. Each of the rows and columns are numbered 1 through 5, and what this does is it lets us describe each of the locations in the grid by two numbers, the row number and the column number. So in this grid, we'll be filling in the letters of our alphabet. We want to make sure that we never repeat any letters, and so every letter should appear here exactly once. But since there's only 25 positions and 26 letters in our alphabet, what we'll do is we'll get rid of the letter J. So we're going to fill in the letters from A to Z in this grid, but we're never going to see the letter J. And the way we'll fill in these letters is by first filling in the letters of our keyword. Remember that the keyword is the word eagles. So starting in the upper left hand corner, row 1, column 1, and going horizontally across the rows, one at a time we're going to fill in the letters of our keyword. But again, we want to make sure that we never repeat any letters. So as we start filling in the letters of the word eagles, when we get to that second E in the word eagles, we just skip over that E and go straight on to the S. So we have E-A-G-L-S. Now that we're done filling in the letters of our keyword, we go back to the beginning of the alphabet. We've already got an A, so we're going to start with B. And again, going across the rows, we're going to fill in the rest of the alphabet. So there will be a B in the row 2, column 1 position. Then we'll put a C in the row 2, column 2 position, and so on, all the way down to the end of the alphabet where we have a Z in the row 5, column 5 position. And so if you look at this grid, we've got every letter appearing exactly once, except for J, and that will be the Polybius square that we'll use to decode our message. So we'll write our encoded message underneath the Polybius square, G-H-P-K-F-N-I-G, and what we'll do is we'll look up each of these letters in our square. So where is the letter G? Well, the letter G is in row 1, column 3. And so what we do, since we're decoding a message, is we're going to write that pair of numbers horizontally. So 1 and then a 3 sitting right next to it. And then we look up the H is in row 2, column 5. P is in row 4, column 1. K is in row 3, column 2. F is in row 2, column 4. N is in row 3, column 4. I is in row 3, column 1. And G is in row 1, column 3. So we get one big long list of numbers. So we don't need our original encoded message anymore, and we don't need our Polybius square for the time being. We'll need to come back to that a little later. Let's just focus on this list of numbers. So let's move it up here to the top so we have room to work. What we're going to do is we're going to take this list and break it in half. So that gives us two lists of numbers that are the same length, and we're going to take the second half of that list and write it underneath the first half. And then we're going to space these numbers out so that instead of looking like eight pairs written horizontally, what we really have are eight pairs written vertically. So the first pair we have is 1 and then 2, the second pair is 3, 4, the third pair is 2, 3, and so on. Now we go back to our Polybius square. So we use that Polybius square to look up these pairs of numbers. Remember our first pair was 1, 2. What letter does that represent? Well, in our Polybius square, it represents the letter A. So A is the first letter of our decoded message. Then we look up the next letter, 3, 4, that's N. 2, 3, that's the letter D. 5, 4 gives us a Y, 4, 3 gives us R, 1, 1 gives us E, 3, 1 gives us I, and 2, 3 gives us D. And so we see that the decoded message is Andy Reid.